Uh, Eric, I won't make you sit through another message of his, but he left me one this weekend saying that he went to a Carrie Underwood concert over the weekend, and he gave her a note saying that, that Catherine, Catherine... Right, that Catherine McPhee should not come on the show. I have a mission now. <laughs> you certainly do, young man. Yes. Did you get the message from Carrie Underwood that I gave you? Thank you for sending that. We did. At first, when we just got your phone messages, we weren't that sure you were for real. <laughs> and then... When we got the message from Carrie Underwood, who forwarded to us, yes, I knew that would work. And we will destroy Howard and Sirius Radio. Right. By the way, um, I want you to... I want to talk about a wedding and our daughter. I knew you'd want me to marry her. No, 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 no. She's getting married to her older boyfriend, and we'd like you to stand on the wedding cake. I just move every couple of minutes. Ah. It's inhuman. Don't you do that to me, too. Ah. Couldn't we just put a little pillow in your chair and you can carry the ring? You are horrible. I did ring back. Where's his new songs? What is that? Gary, you guys took it down? Preview page two. Oh, Pete. There's some new ones. Let's see. I'll play them for you. Hmm. Can't find them. Those are the old ones. Where are they, Gary? Uh, it says they're in gray. Uh, but I see the bottom one on the bottom left-hand corner. Oh, 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 yeah. I want to meet me. I want to fly today. You know, Eric. Since... You know, Eric. You know, Eric. Yes. Since you're not gonna, since Catherine's not gonna be on the Stern Show, thanks to you, we were wondering. The balloon thing sounds so marvelous. Would you mind flying down the aisle as a groomsman? <laughs> uh... You could fly and carry the uh, the her train. I'm Eric the midget. Spectacular wedding if he was for. Oh, yes, it would, but I'm not going to do it. It's yes, inhuman. It's inhuman. That's my favorite no, line. It's inhuman. It's inhuman. We told him Paul Newman flew. Right. What's inhuman? Malcolm Forbes used More to More inhuman than human. What was the message you got from him? I missed that. I was busy looking for songs. What was his new message? His his new message was that he went to a Carrie Underwood concert. Oh, oh, oh. on Saturday. Yeah, we got that. Oh, we got that. Oh, yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah. You got to get that message. You got to dig that one out. You want that? Okay, I'll get that. That's just funny. How I, well? Can you imagine. And who did he give the message to? Carrie Underwood's assistant or something? Or like... No, I think he actually met her. So he gave it to her personally. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, didn't we introduce him to her? Yeah, but how... I mean, he must have done the wheelchair thing and gotten backstage again. And imagine Carrie Underwood, like, Eric comes in with this agenda and he thinks everyone... Knows, and he's like, Carrie, I wonder if you could take this note <laughs> to Catherine McPhee. And he probably has a little balled-up piece of yeah. paper in <laughs> Uh, she threw it in the garbage. That's creepy. <laughs> you imagine that old, I mean, the reality of that? Poor Carrie Underwood. Yeah. Uh, here's the new Eric the Midget, Diana DiGarmo, phone call that we were waiting to play for you last week. We ah. couldn't get to it. As you know, Eric the Midget is no longer calling into our show. 
But he does call the wrap-up show. And he calls the Stern Finn uh, Network. Uh, yeah, or, he writes. Uh, I mean, the Super Fan Roundtable, because I heard that. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Sal. Can I set this up? Yeah, go ahead. So Eric's on MySpace. And some guy just sends him a message that I'm Diana Dergamo's cousin. Oh, no. <laughs> and he falls for it immediately. But that, that, that who is Diana Dergamo's cousin? Just a random listener. Oh, okay. He says, hey, I'm Diana Dergamo's cousin. So Eric and me is like, wow, that's great. And he goes, I'm a big Idol fan. Is it possible uh -huh. I can have Diana come to a wedding with me? So this guy emails me immediately, and I get John Hernerlock in the back to be Diana Dergamo's publicist. All right, here we go. And here it is. Hello. Hello, Eric. I'm Stephen Lane, Diana DeGarmo's publicist. It's a pleasure to speak with you. Nice to speak with you, too. So, refresh my memory. What, exactly what would you like to do with Diana? I would just like to talk to Diana for a little while. And I wanted to see if she was available because my brother is getting married, and I was just wondering if she, <laughs> he would be able to go to the wedding with me. Well, right now, it looks, uh, actually looks pretty good. 18th. Cool. Hmm. It says here in my notes, you go by the name um, Eric the Midget? Right. Is that true? Well, that's the nickname they stuck me with, but I don't like that nickname at all. Well, um, exactly how tall are you? Three foot five. Oh, oh, so you are a midget. Well, uh, that's that's fine. Uh, you know, I think that would make for even a, a better publicity photo. Mm -hmm. So would, would we put your name as Eric the Midget? I'd much rather prefer, like, Eric the Actor. Eric the Actor. I would know. Okay, okay, let, let, let's move on. More importantly, let's talk about transportation now. Now, let's see. We'd, we'd like to fly you out uh, for pictures. You don't have a fear of flying, do you? No. Okay, great, fantastic. Now, in order to make this happen, uh, I'm going to need to go through a checklist of information here. First off, what's your weight? 85 pounds. 85 pounds. So, let's see here. I, I think we'll use the child chair. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. And your height again, three foot... Uh, Five. Okay, three foot five, uh, eighty-five pounds. Uh, that'll be seven fifty. Seven fifty what? Seven hundred and fifty balloons. You know what? I'm getting you two back later. You shit. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Stephen Lane, Diana DeGarmo's publicist. It's a pleasure to speak with you. Nice to speak with you, too. So, refresh my memory. What, exactly what would you like to do with Diana? I would just like to talk to Diana for a little while. And I wanted to see if she was available because my brother is getting married, and I was just wondering if she, he would be able to go to the wedding with me. Yeah, right now, it looks uh, actually looks pretty good. 18th. Cool. Hmm. It says here in my notes, you go by the name um, Eric the Midget? Right. Is that true? Well, that's the nickname they stuck me with, but I don't like that nickname at all. Well, um, exactly how tall are you? Three foot five. Oh, oh, so you are a midget. Well, uh, that's that's fine. Uh, you know, I think that would make for even a, a better publicity photo. Mm -hmm. So would, would we put your name as Eric the Midget? Thank you for listening. For more great content... Subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. I much rather prefer, like, Eric the Actor. Eric the Actor. Okay, okay, let, let, let's move on. More importantly, let's talk about transportation now. now let's see, we'd, we'd like to fly you out uh, for pictures. You don't have a fear of flying, do you? No. Okay, great, fantastic. Now, in order to make this happen, uh, I'm going to need to go through a checklist of information here. First off, what's your weight? 85 pounds. 85 pounds. So, let's see here. I, I think we'll use the child chair. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. And your height again, three foot... Uh, five. Okay, three foot five, uh, 85 pounds. Uh, that'll be 750. 750 what? 750 balloons! 
You know what? I'm getting you two back later, you shit. You fucking <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> 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 Eric. Yes. Uh, they got you. The boys. I'm. I'm just really, absolutely sick of this balloon shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's. It's not going to happen. Oh, it'll happen. You know what? I'm sick of you saying that. When I say it's not going to happen, it's not. No. It will. I'm. Hey. I'm going to prove you fucking wrong, you big no sack of shit. I've been right about you all along. I don't see why I'd be wrong about this. You're my Mount Everest. <laughs> no, you know what? Here's the deal. The only way it's happening is if each and every one of you first rides a Sibian. Okay. You're on. With Robin included. Yep. We'll do it. Actually, the only one that doesn't have to do it is Benji because... Benji okay, no problem. We'll ride the Sibian. When can you get in here? You got me. Backfired, didn't it? Come on! See? If you backfired. We're up for it. Big deal. I'll sit on the Sibian. When will you be here? What time are you going to be here? Sometime between now and never. Uh, so you're a liar now. Now you're Eric the liar. Uh... You challenged me. I took the challenge. I, I gave you the cock off and you backed off. This is not going to happen. I'm foiled again. You said it would happen. Uh, it wouldn't happen until we ride the Sibian. We're going to ride the Sibian. Now you have to do it. When are you coming in? To take your balloon ride. I just told you. When will you be in here to fly like Superman? I just told you. You just told me that we needed to ride the Sibian. I said I would. So when are you coming in? Sometime between now and never. So you're a liar. So now you're Eric the liar. No, I just never figured you'd be stupid enough to act. Why? What's the big deal? I'll ride the Sibian. I don't care. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I mean, who cares? I'm in. Let's go. You're just uptight. You're going you're gonna to go on the balloons, and I'll tell you why you're going to go on the balloons. When I get Catherine, Catherine McPhee in here, and she's sitting here, and you could be sitting right next to her, I know you. You can't resist that. And what you're well, going to do is you, you're going to come in the day before she gets here. Aren't you going to be damn shocked when this whole summer passes and that doesn't happen at once? Hey, I don't care. You know what? I'll have Catherine McPhee in here, and we'll have a great time, and I'm going to tell her that Eric the Midget isn't a cool guy, and you're not even going to know her. And you're going to call in? We're going to ignore your call. We yeah. won't even let you talk to her. I won't even let you talk to her. And it's going to kill you. And how did you think uh, Diana DeGarmo was going to a wedding with you? And by the way, <laughs> are you the most gullible guy on the planet or what? Well, you know what? Because of that shit, I started telling people that they're not that the, my faith in everyone on there except for family and people that I actually know personally is gone down. What did he say, Robin? Uh, because of that, his faith in people has has left him. What? <laughs> <laughs> Man, you were so close to going to that wedding with Diana DiGarmo as your date. Lucky. You really think Diana DiGarmo was going to go to your brother's wedding with you? <laughs> hey, it's crazy that you fell for that. And I'm telling you, these American idols are so important to you that you will fly like Superman. No, I won't. Well, we'll see. I say you will. You well, will. I, I hope you like being wrong. Well, so I'm wrong. But you, I'm not. You're going to fly. You're really going to sit home and, and miss Catherine McPhee? I don't think so. Yeah. I know you better than you know you. I've known myself for 31 years. You know me for almost four. I don't damn think so. Pretty sad when you don't know yourself. After all that time. Yeah. I know myself better than you know me. No. We're going to call you Eric the Midget who doesn't know himself. <laughs> yeah, there's your new name. Artie just came up with it. Eric the Midget who doesn't know himself. <laughs> I'm serious. That's your new name. By the way, I never called the wrap-up show moron. I've only 
called the intern show in the round okay. table. Gee, sorry. That makes you a moron. Yeah, that makes me a moron. Meanwhile, sorry, I'm busy. I don't meanwhile, know. Meanwhile, you think you're getting a date with Diana DeGarmo. Yeah, I'm a moron. And also, the other day when I was on with the with Mutt and the round table, he cut me off just before I could to answer the last question. He asked me, what problem do I have with him and his, and his site? My problem is with him and his site. Too many of his moron members <laughs> coming over to my site pissing me off. I'm going to tell you a story. <laughs> you know, my mother... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story, Eric. What's that? At age five, I, Howard Stern, visualized my radio show. And do you know what my dream was? What? That one day, I would fly a midget with balloons. <laughs> well, you're going to have to find someone else for that. No. And in a dream, it came you're, to me. I saw your midget. face. You're my midget, and that midget is you, and you will fly. <laughs> They're throwing Beetlejuice, then. No. You are my destiny. Oh, well. We'll see. got the solution. Howard. No, you don't. Howard's got the solution. So you think. Hello. Hi, Eric. This is Catherine McPhee. I like knocking up. Hello. Hello. This is Ooh, Catherine. Oh, Iris, knock it off. Lick my pussy like it's a piece of taffy. Hello. Who's Blue Iris? This is Catherine McPhee. Tell Stern that this is not funny. Oh, my God. Catherine McPhee loves to have her pussy licked. Knock it off. Well, suck your cock. Who is it? It's Catherine McPhee. Stick your midget tongue in my shit pipe. Knock it off. I know who this is. It's not funny anymore. I want you it to put funny when it began. I want you to put your head inside my pussy. <laughs> you don't want to put my hand in my fist upside your face. Stop calling. Fuck that midget. I'll just suck on Taylor Hicks. Jesus, what a grumpy munchkin little piece of shit. Don't you understand every moment of both our lives, Eric, have been heading toward the balloon stunt? No, they haven't. It'll be the culmination of both of our lives. It's bigger than both of us. No. Not going to happen. It will. You'll see. Go have a heart attack and go to hell. <laughs> wow, where'd that come from? Such an um, evil, evil little person. <laughs> I'm Eric the Midget Man I fit in a garbage can I float with balloons to smell McFee's spoon I'm Eric the Midget Man Did you just wish me a heart attack? Isn't that a terrible thing to say? Just because I want to see you fly with balloons Which you're probably going to like How dare you you're going to have bad karma. You hear what I'm saying? Eric? I believe he's gone, Robin. You think he hung up on us this time? I think he might have hung up before we could hang up on him. <laughs> well, I'm sure he's listening. <laughs> oh, good. Eric, I asked uh, the guys to get in touch with Eric the Midget. Eric? Well... Some people don't want me to call you anymore. They say you're boring, but I disagree. 
I think this whole thing about whether you'll fly or not is great. And we'll keep it happen. Show. How much you want to bet it's going to happen? When I tell you my news, I think it is going to happen. I told you yeah, I know yeah. I know you better than you know you. You no, ready? Okay. You want to see? All right, Gary. Just forward the picture, not the chick's information. All right. I got a picture of a girl. She looks like you ever see Kelly Ripa? Yeah. Okay. Picture Kelly Ripa. That hot, that blonde, she writes me a note saying that her name's uh, Valerie and she's a, um, like a live-in nurse. Yeah. So she's worked with guys like Artie's dad who was a, you know, quadriplegic and guys like you who are in wheelchairs and stuff. And she goes, I'm a really sexy nurse. I'm not a dirty girl. I'm not like, you know, a hooker or a whore. I'm a nurse. But I listen to the show regularly. And she kind of said, hey, you know, if Eric ever visits the show, I wouldn't mind being part of his, like, entourage. And I thought, oh, what the hell does that mean? So we called her. Thank you for listening. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. And she's saying, look, she doesn't know if she'd have sex with you, but she'd go out on a really sexy date with you, this chick Valerie. And she's saying, right. like, I'm not opposed, like, like, if something happened where, you know, like Eric and I hit it off. Well, that's one thing. I'm, I'm not going to promise him sex or anything because I'm not that kind of girl, but... She'll get to know him. So then I took another look at the pictures, and this chick is hot. Now, I don't know if it's just a good picture or what, but I'm going to send you the picture. Okay. And I guarantee you I'll hook you up with this chick. If you fly. If you fly. Wow. Here, Holy look. Shit. You tell Eric, and, don't, and it ain't coming from me. Here's from Artie. Eric? Oh, know, wait, who's the one you um, respect? Benji? That the one you're, who's your pal? Yeah. All right, here, give this to Benji and let him comment on this. Tell Eric what you think of that chick's looks. For the record, she's smoking, but here's Benji. Hey, Eric. Hi, Benji. Hey, man. She's very, very cute, sexy, hot, wholesome looking. This is a great looking girl. Ha. Got your interest there, little man? Maybe. Ah. <laughs> I'll send you the uh, pictures. You tell me if it ain't worth getting up on some balloons and flying around the studio. Like I said on the message I just left on Will's voicemail, if you even consider putting that cartoon on your channel, <laughs> that's the last straw. You haven't seen the cartoon. You haven't seen it. Hey, I don't give a crap if I've seen it or not. I've heard the audio of it. I don't want it on. Uh, I'm putting it on. Who are you? I can put it on. Okay, then absolutely no way, Mike. You're going to forget about this girl. You don't even want to see the picture. You're gonna, you don't want me to send you the pictures of this chick? I'd like to see what the ah. picture. Oh, no. I thought it was the last straw. See, I told you I know you better than than you know you. No, you don't. I do. You're going to fly. Remember yesterday you said when hell freezes over, you're going to fly? Hell must be freezing. Hey, I just emailed you the pictures. Check your email right now while you're talking to me. Take a look at this chick. You tell me if you're not going to fly. Oh, mm -hmm. Hang on. My yeah, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I tell you this, this guy's fly. He's too easy. Yeah. He wants romance. Now, this chick might give him romance. I don't mean, you know, who knows? She's not opposed to somebody with a handicap. But has she seen Eric? I don't know. I got to get on the air well. All right. Go ahead. Take your time. I can wait. Satellite. <laughs> I don't have to worry about average quarter hour maintenance. <laughs> You know, I'm not Robert W. Morgan back in the 70s. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not Charlie the... What? AOL never logged off. AOL <laughs> never logged off? What does that mean? You mean you're still logged on from last night? Yeah, I told it to log off. Sometimes you got to click on it, not tell it. You know, a lot of people well, don't listen hey, to you. Log off. <laughs> AOL doesn't even listen to what you say. <laughs> I did, I did. I, I... <laughs> Log off. Fuck off. Log off. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Log off. Fuck you. <laughs> you got that email from me? 
Yeah. Open it up. Think you're going to be impressed. Final done. <laughs> he just downloaded. Good looking. Yeah. Oh. Oh, stop. She's good looking. She's hot. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and she says here she wanted to be part of your entourage, and then when we called her about it, she was kind of like, hey, you know, look, I'm not guaranteeing anything. I mean, I'd love to go out on a date with Eric. Which is what you always said you wanted to do. Yeah, I mean, this chick was saying all the right things. Dude, could you imagine you nailed that piece of ass? Yeah. In other words, she doesn't find you annoying. She hears you on the radio and thinks romance. I mean, that's got to blow your mind. This could be it. This could be the one. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Guarantee as soon as we hang up, you're taking those pictures and beating off with them. No, I'm going to sleep because I haven't been to sleep yet. What do you do all night? <laughs> I was trying to get through all the messages on MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> he does, he does oh, the my. nerd coke, MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's addictive, huh? Is that like your coke? No. You can't get off it and go to sleep. <laughs> He's up all night. <laughs> I've been doing the nerd loser cocaine. My space. Oh, you know what losers are. Don't you already? Yes. Ooh. And he says you're one. Nope. This could be your ticket to a full-size girl, dude. Eric, I'll fly if you will. Artie will fly with you. We're going to need 4,000 balloons. <laughs> I don't know if we can get all those balloons in here. Honestly, Artie, I don't know if I can get you off the ground. I mean, no offense. I'm trying to get him in it. Uh, Eric, we any... got, Eric, we got a shot. I don't know about you. The room is only so large. I'm trying to get Eric under any circumstance. What do you say, little buddy? Nope. Don't Not want her? Gonna do it. Not going to do it. Don't want anything to do with it. You don't want to go out with that girl. All right. Fair enough. He's a, he's a fag. <laughs> Try to fuck your computer again. Hmm. All right. Thank you. Sorry we beat you yesterday, too, Eric. What do you mean? Yanks won. Well, the A's had the day off, so it didn't count. <laughs> He's always got a way around it. So you're telling me no flying and you don't want to meet this girl. What if I put her on the phone to you right now? You could talk a little to her. I guess you could do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gary, any way you can hook me up with this chick right now? Or is she We're trying to call her right now. All right. Give me one second, Eric. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I believe you will fly. I believe you will fly. I think I got a new uh, Eric song. I can't even keep. I don't even know where all of my Eric songs are. See, that's the kind of shit that's ruining it for you, though. That says a lot of your Eric songs are on the Eric page. You got your own page, dude. In my computer, so many songs there are about you. Let Let me tell you right now. <laughs> Back when I did agree to this, doing this balloon thing, was when it was low key. <laughs> no big deal, and there was no stupid costumes involved. And then, for some reason, you had to up it to being ridiculous. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say you had to wear a costume. I said we we're going to put you in a helmet. You wanted when, that. When you were on the phone with myself and that balloon lady, well, you, you should have. You, you should me in a Superman costume with a little thing <laughs> in, in my private area for your safety. If you don't want to wear the costume, I don't care. It's up to you. I thought it would be make it more fun, but you don't need a costume. Do it in your street clothes. I just thought it would have made you feel more powerful to do it in costume. Yeah, we thought you'd feel like Superman. No. Yeah. I'm trying to get a hold of a, a little person that I look up to, trying to see what his thoughts are on this. <laughs> I, I, I can get a little person on the phone right now. Oh, Howard, you should talk to Eric, by the way. One of his big fears about doing this is he's afraid that it's going to jeopardize his standing in the, I believe it's the LPA, Little People of America organization. 
Yeah, aren't you running for office in Little People of America? No, I haven't even joined yet. No, he's afraid that they won't take him as a member. Oh, sure you're thinking will. of joining and you could be rejected. Oh, big deal. You don't need them. What do you need Little People of America for? What have they ever done for you? Because there's a lot of cool people in Little People of America. Wait, there's a guy on the phone who says he's a, he's a little person. Yeah, right, Howard. I think you should fly. Howard, that's you on the megaphone. Come on now. No. <laughs> My name is Brad. I, I live in Albany. I, I've been a member of LPA for 20 years. I, okay, here's a question. Uh, okay. When, when is the next national? No convention. In September. Wrong. Well, you're not an LPA no, member. I'm an LPA so board I'm... member. We have a board meeting in September. Uh, I, w I was told by somebody that the next meeting is not sub national convention is not September. It's next week. Yeah, well, that's for regular members. This is for board members in September. Which is the only meeting I go to. But I was talking about... And it'll be in Milwaukee, along with the other one. And our president, Angela Van Etten, will be there herself. Yo, yeah, well, thank you for calling in. So there's a guy who says that you um, should do it. Howard, I didn't even hear you hit that sound when you put somebody on the air. <laughs> I didn't no, no. hear that. I, did. so I put them on the air. I don't know what, what's wrong with your hearing. Is it true LPA stands for losers, pussies, and assholes? Oh. Hey, that's not funny. <laughs> Thank you for listening. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. Balloons, so I can meet Catherine McVee. What happened to that girl? Yeah. We, we can't get a hold of her, Howard. No. Oh, we'll All have right. to arrange that. Then. I'll arrange it for tomorrow, Eric. Okay? Okay. All right. Bye for now. Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs> no. No, that's my new slogan. Bye for now. That's fine. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye for now. Howard, do you want one more song? Sure. Go to Gary Preview Page 2. Just about Eric? Of course. Right mm -hmm. below the two yellow ones, it's in gray. I just want to fly. <laughs> I'm a midget in the sky. Hey, I'm a midget in the sky. I'll do anything to meet Catherine McPhee. You know how much I love her. Hey, I worship at her feet cause I can't reach her knees. I'll float around the studio like an airborne budgie toad. I just wanna fly. Strap balloons around me, baby. Strap balloons around me, baby. Hey, I just wanna fly like a midget in the sky. Strap balloons around me, baby. Hey, balloons around me, baby. That's a good one. You like that? No, Sugar Ray's version was better. All right. All right I'm gonna hook you up with this chick tomorrow. Then you make your decision. All right. Whatever. Okay. What if we get Sugar Ray to come in and record I'm a Midget in the Sky? Okay. I will do it. <laughs> That'll happen. Hey, I think Mark McGrath's a little too busy with extra TV right now. No, I don't wait think so. And see. That doesn't look like that requires all that much yeah, time, that extra. Wait and see. I can get him to do it. Hold on, Eric. Ah. What? What do you got? We got her. Oh. oh. Hey, Eric, here's that chick. This is going to get you going. I'm telling you, you're going to fly. What line, Gary? 
No, they're just talking to her now. They just got her. Hold on. I'm hooking you up with a real girl who doesn't find you repulsive in any way. Let me tell you, it took years before I found a woman that didn't find me repulsive. <laughs> you were a little bit harder, Eric. You were a little harder, but not that much. <laughs> yeah, I still can't figure out why Beth doesn't find you repulsive. No. You're just better. That wasn't nice. That was mean. <laughs> that hurt my feelings. Bye, 22, Howard. Thank you. Here we go, Eric. You ready? I think this is the one. You've seen her picture now. Hear her voice. Hello. Hello. Hi. Eric. Hi. Is this Valerie? This is. All right, Valerie. First of all, um, thank you for coming on the air. You're very welcome. We How got your you? we got your pictures. Just tell tell me a few things about yourself, and then talk to Eric directly. Okay, I am 27. Okay. I'm an ex Hooter girl. Okay. I am now a nurse in Austin, Texas, and I'm going to law school. Wow. By by the way, by your picture, is that like a really good picture of you, or? No, that's a, actually those were the bitches at work put those up on the internet for some ungodly known reason, and those are like four years ago. I look a hell of a lot better now. I run marathons now. What do you weigh? I weigh like maybe one twenty four. I'm five seven and a half. Oh, mm. tall. I have I have D cup boobies. Wow. Well, yeah, let, let me introduce. Anyway, I'm a runner. Let me introduce you to Eric the Midget. Eric, I'm going to stay out of this. You do your magic, okay? And you're Hello. Good morning. Eric. Good morning, sunshine. Why are you being such a little prick? Are you going to come hang out with me? I don't know. I. You don't know. That's that's not an answer I accept. Well, hanging out with you wouldn't be the bad part. The other part would be the bad part. The what would be the other part, Eric? He's talking about having, having to do that balloon stunt. Well, listen, I'm a nurse, and I do trauma, and I've worked with pediatrics, and I actually take care of a vet patient who's a quadriplegic. And he said he would do it, and he's like 180 pounds. So, I mean... Let you me know, understand let's... something, Valerie. I, I, I mean, Eric's too shy to ask you this. <clears throat> you would go yeah. out with him? I would go out. I would take him out, and we would go dancing and do whatever the hell he wanted to do. I, I can party, let me tell you. And sit down some drinks. And so you would drink with him? You would treat him like a... Like a king. And uh, also like a date. Like a date. Like a real I date. Would... I would really go on a date with him. Not a goofy date, not a one-time stunt. Date. If you no. liked Eric and, you know, things were cool and you were talking and having kind of fun together, you would see him again. I definitely would, absolutely. And you would give him your phone number and you, would, you wouldn't just lead him on, you would actually he, kind of... He can have my phone number right now. Wow. Well, I'm not giving it to him until he agrees to fly. <laughs> Listen, Eric, I, I'll make you a deal. We'll go out, we'll hang out, we'll eat some good food, we'll have some drinks. And then I will come with you, and I will stand by you when you float on balloons. Hmm. I won't let anything happen to you. How's that for a good What are you wearing right now? I'll, I'll even get naked when you do it. You would? Oh, hell yeah. What are you wearing right now, honey? What am I wearing? I actually just went and got myself a couple of Red Bulls, so I have um, some little booty shorts on and a T-shirt and a little no bra. And you don't have a boyfriend? I d well... You know, not really, no. Could, I just started talk, talking to a, a cop, but... Could you be attracted to a little person? Could I? You know, anything's possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of assholes out there, so, you know, if he's going to be a nice guy, then... Hmm. Eric, well, this would be well, like you... You would be David Blaine. You would be doing your <laughs> stunt, and a beautiful girl would be there supporting you. That is true. I mean, David Blaine got into a basically a bathtub, and Hyrie <laughs> yeah. Hot Chick on the Planet was there, and this hot chick is all of a sudden turned on by your fame and your your ability to fly. You'd be like David Blaine if he was an odd-looking midget. <laughs> Do you have yeah. to put that in? What, what qualities... Howard, yeah. just a sec. Artie, you know, it's comments like that that really make me not want to do this. <laughs> yeah, Artie's yeah. the one. Could you shut up, Artie? Oh, I'm sorry, Eric. 
And so listen to Artie. They gotta fuck with you. You know that's that's their job. But listen, here's the deal. Well, thank you. Why don't we put Eric in a little fishbowl instead of flying? Him? Thanks for explaining my job. Like David Blay, we stick him in water. See how long he holds his breath. Scuba thing on. <laughs> Tell him I'm so naked with him. And and here's the thing, though. You're wearing booty shorts right now. Yeah. So you got a really nice ass, huh? It's all right. Yeah, I run. I run marathons. Could you send us some more provocative? I know you're not going to send us naked pictures, but could you send us like more sexy pictures so I could send them to Eric? Sure, why not? All right. I'll have to get myself a little photo shoot in my bed or something. All right, that's cool. Um, yeah, but you know, Eric, seriously, I mean, you're passing up some opportunities that people would fucking pay money for. Seriously, I, you need to step up to the plate here, kiddo. I mean, this is a once in a lifetime, you know. What's the wildest thing you ever did sexually? Oh shit! You got like three hours. Really? You're that much oh, of a my player, God. huh? You shit for like three hours? No, I said you had three hours. Well, what'd you do? Oh God, I've done everything. Girl on girl. Crazy. I um, I managed a strip. I used to uh, be a little wild child, and I did a few drugs, and I uh, been with a few women. Girl on girl, huh? Um, many girls on girls. <laughs> Would you ever do that in front of Eric? Would you yeah. ever bring? A, let's say you go out with Eric. You guys hit it off. Would you ever bring girls into the whole situation? You know what, Howard? Life, you only live once, and I see too many people get their brains splattered across the sidewalk, so I will, I'm open-minded to do pretty much anything. Hmm. I like that you answer. Yeah. Life is short. you got to live it up. Eric, are you listening Eric to me? Eric would prefer you didn't say life is short. <laughs> 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 Eric, what do you think? Don't worry, Eric. Bigger isn't always better. Mm, like that answer. These are all the right words. When you're little, like you know, down there, like me, bigger isn't always better. So. Would you be comfortable lifting Eric onto a toilet? Uh, absolutely. I, you know, I take care of a quad. I'm at his house right now, and I mm. <clears throat> wipe his ass every day. So, and I lift him up every day, Eric. He's 180 pounds. I got some guns, so don't worry about me not being able to catch you and you fall from the balloons. Mm. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. Just imagine you fall into her arms. That's not so bad. And I got a D cup, so you know you got plenty of. You got a D cup. On. I got a D cup. Is that an actual D cup or an implant? It's an actual. Never wow. had a knife to my body. Huh. Never will. Well, Eric will put a knife to your body. <laughs> oh yeah. That's right. That sounds kind of hot. <laughs> can that quadriplegic talk? Yes, he can. Let me speak to him. Thank you for listening. For more great content. Subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. All right, hold on a second. Smith will come on the air with us. He wants to talk to Howard. Wants to talk to you, Ken. <laughs> hold on. Ken Howard wants to talk to you. Eric, you still there? Yes. Turn it down. Hold on. Let me see what this chick's all about. I'll check her out for you. All right. Hold, turn it down, Judy. All right. He's on a vent. So put the phone up to him, okay? Okay. Hold on one second. You ever sit on his face? Yeah. Look. Hey, how you doing, brother? Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you, Howard? All right. This chick hot or what? Yeah, she's all right. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. You, uh, you you never did her, did you? No. Well, she, no, I'm married. Oh, you're married. <laughs> but she's yeah. hot looking? Yeah, she is. Wow. What, do you think she'd date Eric the Midget for real? Oh, yeah, yeah. She's been talking about it for a while. We, we were in... Uh, Talking about this, uh, she started listening to you, and uh, she started working for me. She a good wiper? Yeah, uh, you know, you were talking once about uh, uh, the uh, uh, Foley catheter, the catheter that goes in your penis. Yeah. yeah. She can tell you a good story about when she put up the catheter in me and uh, blew my. <laughs> you blew your load. You blew my urethra. Um, ruptured my urethra. Oh dear. Uh, she ain't that good at it, huh? No, no. Not intentional. Right. <laughs> and she wipes your ass, right? Yeah. And, and when you have to take a dump, does she pull it out of your ass? Yeah. She does? Yeah. She's a good woman. That's a good woman. And she's hot, huh? Yeah, she is, yeah. And she got D-cups? Oh, yeah, yeah. And she's wearing short shorts right now? Love you, Are you looking at my boot? Are you no, looking no, at my shorts? No, your shorts. No, uh... Oh. Uh oh, the guy just <laughs> flatlined. <laughs> what? All right, so she pulls the duty out of your ass. Yeah. No kidding. Boy, that's a good girl right there. 
him. Yeah, not everybody's going to do that for you. Hey, let me talk to her. All right. Thanks, man. What up? You pulled a duty out of his ass, he said. I do. Yeah, that's every, cool. Every other day, I dig his ass out. Oh. You dig it out with your hand? With my finger, yeah. Oh. You pull out the turds? I pull out the turds one yeah. at a time. God. <laughs> Would you ever eat it? <laughs> how much does that pay? To pull what, are you ta what are you talking about over there, Robin? I can uh, hear you. How mu she wants to know how much that pays. <laughs> um, I make uh, up upwards of close to $30 an hour. You bet. Better. I'd say that should be $100 an hour. Well, yeah. that's what we're going to charge you. You're a saint. <laughs> hey, Eric, a regular girl, player, fun, not turned off to a guy in a chair. What do you think? You got to be impressed. It sounds interesting, but I still have to think a little further about this whole. Hey, thing. Eric, how about I come out and see you, and we go hang out? Hell no, not until he flies a balloon. No. Well then, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not turning you on to him until the balloons start flying. Well, you better get your ass in there, Eric, and fly those balloons. Eric, that chick wants to hang out with you, even with you, just to go visit you. Yeah, she's not even. Making you do anything. You would be my hero. If you flew those balloons, you'd be my hero. I'd forever be indebted to you. Wow. You'd be the sexiest man. He's flying. I say my money's right. I know yeah. I know this guy. Yeah. He's flying. You gotta be hard now, Eric. Come on. Eric, I told you you'd fly. I told you. Remember when I said you'd fly? I saw yeah. it. Remember I told you I was five years old and I had a dream that one day I would fly a midget in the air with balloons? And I knew it was you? <laughs> and you said no way and hell would freeze over? You're going to do it. Well, hell's going to freeze over. Eric, you're going to fly when you got d -cups waiting for you to land. Come on. If you had the courage to do it, it would turn you on, wouldn't it? I think it'd be pretty sexy. Yeah. Of course it is. Anytime a man flies... It's sexy. sexy. On balloons. Why do you think Superman's going to be the biggest movie this summer? Yeah, and it, Ryan can't get over that guy. Anytime Lost. you tie balloons to a little man and he flies, it's sexy. <laughs> Why do men yeah. do anything? To turn women on. The broads, that's it, right? Right. Why do we work? Every yeah. Day? I shower. Mean, reason I do, I, sh I show up every day so Beth will stay with me. Why do you think Richard showers once a month? <laughs> I, you know, I don't really care if a man works. If he stays home and lets me blow him six times a day, then I'm a happy girl. Whoa, Eric! Oh, you sh boy, honey, you are saying the right things. That's me, Eric. You, you could get rid of that guy you live with, Eric. Move her in, blowing you, jerking you off. Flying up in balloons. Balloons. We take a hot air. We can take a hot air balloon ride. Who knows what can happen in the sky? You know. Boy, you're a sexy little minx. So you're going to have to worry about you cheating on him? Fuck no. No? All right. I'm a one-man woman. Well, and maybe a couple girls here and there. You totally shaved? Uh-huh. No, not Brazilian wax. Brazilian wax? So your whole taint and bunghole are completely hair-free. Hair-free. You hear I that, Eric? I'm not a fan of hair. <laughs> Eric, did you hear that? Yeah. Uh, thank you. I, I bet your little head is exploding. <laughs> hey, next time you get wax, can you do it in here? I absolutely would. You would? I would love to. Oh, my God. I would love to. Can I bring my girl from the, from the spa? Yeah. She's, she's really good. Yeah. Rip the hairs out of your ass. That'll be hot. <laughs> she's hot, too. You into anal sex? No, you know, not so much. See, she's a good girl, Art. I think, there's a, I think there's, you know, three or four other places to put a guy's cock, so I think... I only count two. Yeah, three? What are three four? or four? My tits, my mouth, my hand. That's three, right? Mm, there you go. Oh, and okay. You're right. And my, and my cooch, that's four. Right. Yeah. Preferably in the mouth, but, you know. You mean? like it in the mouth. I lo oh, God. That's my, my ass. And what do you do? Do you play with yourself while you have a man in your mouth? You know, a little bit of everything, I guess. Oh. Whatever happens in the moment. Can you be you a know? lady around Eric's parents? You know what? I'm I'm a lady until I'm alone somewhere with boy. I'm gonna tell you something. Fuck Eric, I'll fly. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Eric. I am I'm screw a you. Bitch. This is a crazy woman, man, but yet classy. Good job. Very classy. Does Very other classy. girls I was, I was raised in a nice Catholic family. I went to boarding school. Hmm. 
Yeah, Italian. So nice, nice flat stomach too. I bet. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Has, has to be. Can you? I don't, I don't dig. I don't dig belly fat either. Not a fan of belly fat. Well, I guess that counts me out. I was going to say, Eric. Uh... No, actually, on men, you know what? On men, it's kind of sexy. Oh, okay. I don't like... uh, right answer. Okay. Right answer. Right answer. I don't like bumping my head on the ribs, you know? Here you I got to have some pillow out there to. Are you hear anything wrong with this chick? No. I, can you cook? I was about to say. Can I cook? Yeah. I was raised in the kitchen sitting on the sink with my mom. Wow. Italian. <laughs> I can shit. Eric was raised sitting on the sink, too. <laughs> <laughs> You mean sitting in the sink? Eric, where are you in this conversation? No, that, that picture is very hot, too. Uh, no kidding. Uh, no oh, God, that was, I was Eric, like 22, you should be Eric, so. you should be pushing me aside and taking over. Yeah, Eric, come on. Step up to the plate, dude. He's about to take your woman, Eric. Didn't you hear him? He's going to fly. I bet you just... Yeah, Eric, if you don't fly, I'm going to go on a date with Artie. How do you like that? Eric's whacked it six times already, I bet. <laughs> is that what you're doing back there, Eric? No. No? Can I get a little... Uh, Come on, Eric. Honey, I would um, teach you, I would teach you a lesson. Let me tell you. I'd shut that I'm mouth gonna, up. I'm gonna stink him so hard. Eric, what are you doing over there? Are you gonna talk to me? Do you care if Eric calls you Kelly Clarkson in bed and pretends you're Kelly Clarkson? Baby, you can call me anything you want. What do you think of that, Eric? Oh Kelly. Do <laughs> you hear me? I said just call me. Eric. You can right. call me Catherine. All right, I'll tell you what, Valerie. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to talk to my man here, okay? All right. All right, baby. Got some sense to do. All right, thank Have you. Have a good day, guys. We'll be in Bye. touch, believe Where me. Where is he? Is he still there? I don't know. He completely dropped know. out of the conversation. He's so intimidated by girls. No, he's probably busy doing something. Are you touching yourself? No. He's like, <laughs> no. Hold on. Uh, Valerie, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Thank you. Excellent proposal. Very nice. Dude. I'm here. It's the best I can do, man. You're never going to get a better opportunity. You tell me what's wrong with this picture. The fact that you still want me to do the balloon thing. No. Well, you got to do something. We're doing deal. everything. Five minutes. Ten minutes in the air. Try me with balloons. Three minutes in the air. What am I talking about? Come on. Yeah, you don't have to be up there that long. What are we going to do with gotta, them for 10 yeah, minutes? i got to get a good look at you up there. She wants it. There's no question. And she'd actually go on a date with you. She'd, like, consider you. The reason why I wasn't saying anything is because this. Thank you for listening. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. If my show proved anything, I'm not that great of an interviewer. <laughs> yeah, but you got to get something going with a girl. I mean, you yeah, can't. You got to talk. If you sit there on a date and don't say anything, you know, if you just talk American Idol crap, you're going to lose this chick. As motivated as she is, but I can only get the wheels in motion. All right, look, there you go. Okay. Okay, I'll think about it. All right, get back to me by tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> he actually gets depressed. I know. I told him he was going to fly. I'm a midget in the sky. Eh. I'm a midget in the sky. I'll do anything to me. Gathering me free. You know how much I love her. Hey, I worship at her feet because I can't reach her knees. I'll float around the studio like an airborne budgie toad. I just want to fly. Strap balloons around me, baby. Hey, balloons around me, baby. Hey, I just want to fly. Right. Wow. I know some people say they had enough of Eric, but I don't no. see... I, I... Once he flies, people will realize this was all worth it. Right. There's a lot of effort going into this, but I think it'll be worth it. All right. I do love Eric. He's fine. 
Yeah. I'm a fan. Even if he doesn't know it. Yeah. <laughs> See, this guy's sick of Eric on the air. What, what is it, Patrick? You don't like Eric? Yeah, man, he's, he's fine and all, but it, it seems to me like you're fucking begging this guy to fucking do anything for your show, man. You got hot chicks wanting to blow him and shit, and <laughs> half a fag just wants to stay in his room. What the hell's up with that, man? I mean, shit, I'm no midget, but I'd fly fucking across New York for your fucking show, you know? That's what you think, but I don't know. Erica has a whole different he's agenda. He's a hard one. He's a, a tough one. Case. That's, I think, what makes it interesting. Yeah, I think the problem is, man, this guy is, you know, half a fucking fag, man. He's, he's sitting in that goddamn little fucking chair, fucking beating it. He's never experienced the pussy, man. You got to give it to him. Yeah, well, I'm trying. All right, thank you, Patrick. <laughs> well, hey, man, you guys rock, dude. All Take right, it easy. later, brother. Well, there you go. The continuing uh, saga. I think a lot of people want to see it. Oh, they definitely want to see him fly. <laughs> I want to see it. That we can guarantee. He will fly. <laughs> so I received a letter from uh, Eric the Midget in order to fly with balloons. Here's what he says. Uh, I can't <clears> wait <throat> for these to be. <laughs> it's going to be great. Hey, Will, this is a list of what Howard has to 100% agree to, everything listed, <laughs> before I even consider the balloon stunt. Number one, five hundred thousand dollars. What? Number two. <laughs> $250,000 to the LPA, plus another $250,000 to Ellers Donlos. <laughs> Eric, what's Ellers Donlos? You are a complete and absolute moron. It's Ellers Donlos, my disability, you dumb shit. Why would we know that? Who would even... Who's that? First of all, you've got a stupid disability. No one's ever heard of it. Yeah. I mean, you must be I, one of five people got, with it. There's two people in the world with that. Oh, yeah, right. And you're so brilliant. I mean, I'm not even going to embarrass you with the grammar in this letter and the, the, uh, the punctuation. Dumb shit. Dumb ass. Okay, yeah. Then I should forward you a letter that... Sorry, I never heard of ears danios. <laughs> I Listen can't. to this. It's E H I E R S hyphen D A N I O S. <laughs> I can't believe you don't know that. You wouldn't know it either if you didn't have it. You imbecile. I don't know how many times I've said it on air what my disability is. Eric. Say I've it seven more times. We still won't know. We don't understand half the crap you say. You're a poor communicator. It, it's not exactly common as uh, it's not as, exactly as common as poison ivy. It's Ears Danos. Ears Danos. Then why do you spell it with an I? That's an L, not an I. <laughs> you better go back and check everything on this. Number three, a new green. I spelled it exactly the way it came off of the website. Number three, a new green. Ch How many people do you think in this country have Ears Danos? Danos. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, your thing looks like an I. Don Yos. Dan, uh, Dan Los, okay. Uh, how, do you, how many people you think in the United States have Danlers Elos? Elos Danlos. What is it? Elos Elos Danlos. Elos Danlos. <laughs> <laughs> well, there happens to be seven or 13 types of the disability. So yeah, how many people do you think in the United States have your type of disability? 13. <laughs> right. No. Exactly. When I was born, there was only six types of it. I was type seven by the doctors. So you are the only one with yours. Well, maybe at that time, but who knows? Yeah, I can't believe what idiots we are. We don't know that disease. There's only one guy in the world with it. Well, two. By the way. Who's the second? Uh, Doug Goodstein actually has a mild form of this. The really? Ehlers Danlos? Yeah. I, really? But apparently for him, all it means is he's like double jointed, like his fingers bend in weird ways. He said that, you know, for Eric, his fingers <clears throat> could fall off. Oh, wow. All right. Well, who cares? A new gr this is the number three. A new green Chevy Express all-wheel drive with a rear wheelchair lift, <laughs> a full year of OnStar, a navigation system, a Sony sound system, model number CDX GT 400, or CDX GT 500. Look how much free time Eric has. Like he just sits yeah, in his typewriter. Yeah, he's got everything. But his computer with his demands. So they satellite ready. Plus a DVD player and a yellow or gold fabric seat. Number four, a laptop computer by either Sony, Alienware, Alienware, Gateway, Dell, HP, or Toshiba. 
Number five, a Sony DVD camcorder with all the extra stuff I'll need. A camcorder? Number six, an Xbox, Xbox 360, Nintendo, GameCube, and some game for those systems, plus games for my PS2 and PSP. Number seven, any CD, DVD, computer program, game, and stuff for my iPod, Palm Pilot, digital camera, laptop, and my computer that I want. In other words, he knows it's not going to work out with this girl. Number eight, that cartoon you guys produce never sees the light of day on Howard TV. Well, that ain't happening because I saw it yesterday. It's the funniest goddamn thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Number nine, I have tickets to see. I have tickets to see Kelly Clarkson here near Sacramento in August. I want to pass to meet her. Also, I'd like tickets for four and meet and greet to the Carrie Underwood concert two days before Kelly's concert, where Carrie will be performing. P R O F O R, performing at the California Mid State Fair. Also, Deanna DiGarmo will be in San Jose at the beginning of August. I'd like to be able to meet her. What a busy calendar. So that's all we got to do? And you'll fly. Where in the world is the second paragraph? Oh. Oh, oh for Christ's <laughs> sakes. What, sum it up. What's in the second Where paragraph? Where in the world? Here's the bottom line, Eric. Okay, number one, you will fly. Number two, I won't give in to any of your demands. Number three, oh, I just got. Happening. Oh, it'll be happening because number three, I just got a picture of that girl from yesterday, and she's the hottest friggin' thing on two feet. And if I sent you this picture she just sent me, which is a picture from yesterday, you would freak out. Number four, I'm sick of your demands. And number five, you will fly. Because you're lonely for this kind of company. This is a real girl who's real hot. I'm not doing it for someone that... And number six... Hey, shut up for a minute. I'm not doing it for somebody that 30 minutes ago made a really cruel comment towards somebody that can't help themselves. Who's this? Wendy. Give me a damn break. The comment... Don't oh, do it for me, man. Oh, You've got a chance oh. for a girlfriend. Hey! 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 hey. <laughs> Shut up for one minute. Stop wanting to hear your voice for one minute. One minute. One minute. <laughs> Here's the bottom line, Eric. You know how you love that MySpace.com and your account? The only reason people write you is because you're on this show. I might just start ignoring you starting tomorrow. I'm watching two months that MySpace account dries Dry up. Dry up. Ooh. And then you're really going to be fucked. Oh, well. Yeah. No one's going to write you. No one's going to pay attention to you. No one's getting you tickets for anything. Looks like you'll be getting a lot of sleep. Now you get yourself together. Get down here. Fly. Meet this girl. Go have fun with her. And I'm going to send you this latest picture. Howard, it's, uh, he should look at his mailbox. It's look great. at your mailbox right now. That's her in a pantsuit and a little, like, a bustier. Go ahead. Well, I'm on a corded phone today. Huh? What does that mean? You have no connection to the Internet? No. He can't it. get to it. You can't get to your email? Hang on. Oh, wrong button. Mm-hmm. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. Hendrix. I'm here. Hello? Hello. I got the receivers too close to each other. Sorry. Your whole life is from this show. I believe I had a life before this. <laughs> then why do you keep calling us? You hate it. You, know, no, you love your celebrity. You love all the uh, attention on MySpace. Now, take a look at the girl. Just remember, I created you. Oh, you didn't. I can take it all away. Thank you for listening. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. Well, 31 years ago, my parents created. Not really. Not the life they gave you. You, you know what your parents did for you? Ellers Danlos. <laughs> you know what I did for you? MySpace account, fans, women wanting to go out with you. TV show. Yeah, guest spot on TV show. Your own cartoon that's going to be airing on Howard TV. <laughs> I don't want that to air. Who cares what you want? I have the right to do it. It's free America. Make your own cartoon about me. I'll air that. 
It's the greatest cartoon ever. Really? Yeah. I can't wait to see it. If I showed you this cartoon, your head would fall off. <laughs> Eric is such a good cartoon character, I can't even tell you. Could be a whole series. Oh, email. I believe it will be. <laughs> Did you get your email? I'm opening it now. Wait till he sees this picture of this chick. Look at the boobs. Look at the legs. Look at the belly. Look at the face. She blows Deanna DeGarmo away. And Kelly Clarkson. Ah. <clears throat> I got it. All right, so? Still not doing it. Okay. Bye. And I'm not giving in to your demands. I'm not doing it for one simple reason. You're you might be gay. That's why. No, there's no way a guy. That's what people were saying yesterday. Yeah, maybe I'm a piece of shit, but I'm not gay. I'll tell you that. Neither am I. I don't know. I don't see you going for it. He's a fag. And you're ungrateful. Whatever. You'll fly. Keep looking at that picture. Yeah, I also don't trust you worth a shit. Why? What would I? What, when have I ever lied to you? Name one time. I don't trust you because of the fact you let your staff members do stupid bits. Well, uh, all I'm telling you is you're talking directly to the man. You're talking to me, and I'm not lying. That chick's the real deal. I'll have her here waiting for you. You know what? When I called, the girl that answered the phone pretty much sounded like Valerie. Yeah, well, trust me. I'm telling you, Valerie's the real deal. I don't trust you at well, all. Well, then if you don't trust me, I, don't trust I me. I think Valerie is one of your nope. staff people in turn uh -uh. or whatever. Who do you believe? Do you believe Benji? Benji. Yeah. Hey, Eric. Yeah? As far as I know, it's absolutely real. I, absolutely, I believe it. I would bet it was real. If you want, I'll further check it out, but I'm absolutely as sure as I can be at this point is that it's real. Did I lie to you about getting a role on American Dreams? No. Oh, okay. All right. Are you backstage to meet Diana DeGarmo or whatever the wacko is? Yeah. Did I lie about that? Well, it was Carrie Underwood. Yeah. Did I lie about it? No. Okay. Did you meet the Maloof brothers? No, I've never met them. Oh, then. I never you offered lie about it. That. I never offered that to them. <laughs> Didn't you fuck Heather Locklear? <laughs> No. <laughs> well, I never said you would. Right. See? So That's another never example. Lied. I've never lied, and I resent you calling me a liar. That's not fair. And you're not grateful. You forget the good times, my friend. Very quickly. I'll tell you what I am sure of, Eric. What's that? There's one thing I'm sure of in my life. One way or another, you will fly. Thank you. Nope. We'll see. I'm not flying for somebody that says that someone like Wendy should not have a long and fruitful life. I never said that. Again, you're lying. You, Eric the liar. When you had her... I said there's no reason there. that she shouldn't drink, and there's no reason she shouldn't eat herself to death. Why shouldn't she have friends? Why I, shouldn't she have fun in her life? I Who are you to judge? You. Shame on you. I heard you utter the words that she should not have, or who cares... If she has a long and fruitful life. Of course. Whether she have fun, what fun does she have? I would believe that her family would care how long and fruitful no. her life is. They would care more that she had a happy life, not a long life. And also, people that are actually act like humans. Right. You know what? You know what? Don't call the show anymore and ask us for stuff. Ever again. Until you come to your senses and you fly. All right. Take back every demand right now. You better take it back right now. Those still have to be done. <laughs> All right. We're going to ignore you. Read the second paragraph. Oh, I'm not interested. I, I want to hear every one. You do? All right. Hold it. Let me get the second <laughs> paragraph. I'm fascinated. I'll fish it out of the garbage. <laughs> now, on to what? On to want, I'd love to see all of you, except for Benji, J.D., and certain members of the Howard 100 News do. Oh. That's some sentence. Benji, J.D., and certain members of the news staff get free passes due to the fact that I've never had any problem with them. Oh, yeah, mutt. 
and Pharrell have to do what I'd like to see as well. Okay, here's the list. I'm hoping this makes what Sal, Richard, and Will are going to do win that TV seem like nothing. <laughs> First of all, you have to dress in full-on drag. Hey, Eric, how come you want to see those dudes in drag? He's gay. And you don't want to go out with Valerie? I want you to be as embarrassed and as humiliated as you have made me for the last... Why would that embarrass me? I went on David Letterman in full yeah, drag. Was dressed as Miss America. And I gave David Letterman a lap dance, dude. Yeah, there's but there's a book called Miss America, America, and I think everybody on the show is dressed in drag, so that's already been done. Already been done. Your whole entire staff. That's right. Yeah. In the book. Read the go book. Read the book. Yeah. Scott, the engineer. Unless you're well, too cheap to I, buy it. I said Pharrell and... First not. off, all of you have to dress in full-on drag, including Robin dressing like a man. And I that did that. She did that. While you all dress like that, you have to run around to every serious channel in the building singing gay songs. Dude, you're gay. <laughs> I don't want to be alone. Here's, a, here's my gay demands. I'm someone that has a vast knowledge of music, including songs like that. No, all right, whatever. Hey, listen, Eric, I got to go on board with this. Um, I'm not going to talk about you anymore. Your MySpace.com account is going to dry up. People aren't going to write you anymore. It's going to be good for about two months. And you know what? And Valerie, forget about it. You're not going out with her. Don't call me for tickets. Don't call me for anything. Okay? I'm playing hard. Oh, there's the cartoon. Oh. There's the Eric the Midget cartoon. Oh. Good. See? Look at Eric as a cartoon. I love the finger. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. You're not even hearing the sound. I can't even hear it. It's funny. And there's, um, oh, what's your name? That's his girlfriend? You know who that is. That's uh, the porn star. Oh, that's Tabitha. Tabitha Stevens on top of it. <laughs> yeah. That's Eric making it with Tabitha Stevens. <laughs> that's the greatest. Eric, wait till you see the cartoon. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. No, I'm not. I'm going to sue you for it. Can't. <laughs> I could do a cartoon of somebody. Oh, there's, 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 no, it isn't. Oh my God. It's, it's, it's not you. It's a cartoon. What are you, a lawyer now? Nobody's going to mistake you for that. Nobody thinks that's you. <laughs> <laughs> that's where the uh, that's where him and Tabitha Tabitha gets the pee in the chair and <sighs> she's peeing in his mouth too. Ever hear of the Larry French Jerry uh, Falwell case? No. Um, look it up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jessica Hahn, you're on the air. Howard, my, uh, my blood is boiling. You know, Eric, let me tell you something. You, who the hell do you think you are? First of all, you would have no freaking life without Howard. You know what? You're not even funny. You think this is funny? You think you're being Mr. Tough Guy? Howard doesn't need <laughs> you that much. You little bastard. You little fucking bastard. Now Howard, you pissed off oh, Jessica, Howard. Wait, let me tell you something, Howard. You, you know what, Eric? He worked his ass off. You don't even know what the hell you're talking about. This is not even funny. You know the audience is just to hate you right now. Nothing. You're not even. What's that Jessica good. on? Oh. <laughs> 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 Eric, who the hell? Hey, Jessica, you? lighten up. No, Howard. It's so Howard. All right. His blood is boiling. He's telling you he wishes you die. That's what Everybody's he said. Yeah. So nice to him, Howard. I know. You know. Some people Howard. don't appreciate. Some... I know, baby, but you're so good to him, and he's demanding. I'm like Jesus. I know. I know. Turn the other cheek. Honey, do you know he'll have nothing without you? Honey, he's a crippled midget. Leave him alone, will you? Oh, what, Howard? Right. There's tons of them. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. Bye. All right. Oh, Thank you for defending goodness. me. Thank I you. you. I love you, too. Bye. Well, you got some people angry. Boy, some... it's going to be fun on MySpace this afternoon. Eric. I'm here. Even Jessica Hahn, she's a saint. She loves everybody. Loves everybody. Hard to piss her off. Yeah. In uh, your defense, Eric, no one really knows what the fuck that was just about. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, John in Reading, go ahead. Howard, hey now. Hey now. You got to get rid of this little fuck. He, he, he's... He's boring. He's ungrateful. You know, there's guys like me that would kill to have, uh, uh, what's her name, the porno chick. <laughs> Tabitha, yeah. Yeah. And and he's going to make these list of demands to you like that? Fucking cut him off. All right. You see what's happening, Eric? It's backfiring. Right? I guess. The public is with me. Denise, you're on the air in Syracuse. 
Denise. Hmm. See what you've done? You drove Denise away. No Denise. Yes, Craig, go ahead. You're on the air. Who is this? Yeah, hi. I want to put Eric the Midget in a movie. Uh, it's called uh, Revenge, Revenge of Eric the Midget, where he's going to get to make a side eyes. All right. Well, I, I'm not interested in the Eric the Midget business anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm washing my hands of it. No more acting jobs. Yeah. According to Jessica, there are tons of people like Eric. We can yeah. find somebody else. We're gonna get some. We're gonna get a different midget for the show. <laughs> That's fine. All right. See how you You're like obscurity. You're gonna be so jealous when you hear the new guy. My new midget is gonna be on in a week. I guarantee you, I will hunt that guy down, and he, I will make him famous. He's gonna be get your MySpace account will be his. Oh yeah. I even know the MySpace. I'll get Eric the, er, Eric's MySpace account and give it to this guy. You can't do that. Well, let's see. Thank you for listening. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. I'm surprised what I can do. I already had that MySpace account hacked once by some idiot off of Mutt's stupid website. All right. Okay. Sorry I had it in like this. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. For now. <laughs> Bye, Art. Bye. There's still time to change your mind. That won't be happening. All right. No value. You know what? You're never speaking to him again unless he flies. Right. Don't ever call. Don't write. Yeah. No voicemail. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. And wish your brother a happy wedding. All right. Thank you. All right. There's the end of Eric. <laughs> <laughs> With that, uh, the Howard Stern Show is looking to find America's next whack packer. Yes. Need him now. Yeah. If you think you or someone you know would make a great new addition to the whack pack, you could win $5,000 courtesy of GoldenPalace.com. Your best bet for easy money. Send in a VHS or DVD demonstrating why you should be in the whack pack. Send tapes in by Friday, July 14th at 5 p.m. to enter. Send tapes to America's Next Whack Packer, 1221 Avenue of the Americas, 36th floor, New York, New York, 10020. I'm probably not even going to show the Eric cartoon. You know why? Because I want him to go into obscurity. Right. That's it. Don't make him famous anymore. That's mm, right. It's by over. the way, is Double A a whack packer? Is Marianne a whack packer? Oh, you want to know who's in the whack yeah, pack? Yeah, I want to know what a whack packer is. Marianne is in the whack pack. She is. Yes. Double A. Whack pack. Angry black. Whack pack. King of all blacks. Whack pack. Big black. Whack pack. Uh, Melrose. Whack pack. Clint Black. Clint Black. Whack <laughs> Bobo. No. Joey Boots. Mm, no. Uh, yes. Yes, on yes. Joey Boots. Sorry, <laughs> I have to go through. I have to go through a list of things in my mind. Uh-huh. Uh huh. That'd be a yes. Yeah, it's hard. Uh, see, I still can't get quite a bead. You know, I know Wendy's for sure. I know Gary for sure. Right. I know even Daniel Carver for sure. Joey the Boots came in here with high pitch Eric, and ate his own pube sandwich with uh, <laughs> with the high pitch. I mean, and then washed his balls in the sink. Yeah, Oof. he's whack pack. Now was Sal a whack packer? Yes. He was. Yeah. Sal would stand outside the building with a band and play. Yeah, he's, he's a nut. He's a whack pack. First member of the whack pack to make, to it, make in. it into the staff. Yeah. Wow. He's, he's a whack pack. Absolutely. Beetlejuice, obviously. Oh, yes, obviously. of course. Uh, High pitch Eric, we said, right? Yes. Yeah. And Frank, I mean Frank, uh, Fred the Elephant Boy. Yes. Craighead Bob. We sh we're those sure about those. Ones. Yeah. That's a good call. Uh, how do those guys do that so fast? You know? uh, Howard, they just, uh, Richard just worked on a great one with Eric the Midget. Oh, yeah? I haven't played it for you yet, but I think it's worth playing. Okay. <laughs> Where you got it?
I'd love to see that animation of Eric the Midget again. Oh, was, oh. oh it was funny even without sound. Yeah. Oh, if you saw it with sound. i got to put it on Howard TV. I'll get it on. I was, uh, I was banning any kind of attention for Eric the Midget. But and you weren't going to show it? Yeah, but it's impossible. It's too good. Yeah. Where is it, Gary? It's on Gary Preview page. It's in uh, dark pink. Uh, Eric the Midget, well, it, it, it sort of explains itself. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. Can I help you? Is this uh, Romper the Clown? Um, yeah. I was wondering about renting a clown for my son's birthday party. Okay. Can you tell me when it is and a little bit about it? Well, the party's July 14th, but I got a little problem I wanted to talk to you about. My son, Eric, he's a little apprehensive about clowns because last year at his birthday party, we had a clown, and, and it was a friend of ours, and he drank some and, and got a little rowdy and stuff. And uh, could you do me a big favor and just talk to him on the phone okay. and kind of reassure him? Uh, what's his name? Eric. Eric? Now, i got to warn you, he's got a little bit of a mouth on him that he kind of gets from his dad, so just kind of keep that in mind, okay? Okay. Eric, it's your mom. Get on the other line. Eric, are you there, sweetie? Yes, I'm here. Hi, Eric. How are you doing, sweetie? This is Romper the Clown. Hi. Hi. I was thinking it would be so much fun to come <laughs> to a magic show for your birthday. Do you like magic? No. You don't like magic? Oh, it's so much fun. I'm not doing it. Oh, we can make a rabbit appear. No. We can flag. No. Lots of other fun things, Eric. You know, you've got to be one of the most retarded, infantile idiots on the planet. You cannot force somebody to do something that they do not want to do. Okay, sweetie. Eric, I don't want you to fear Romper. That's why I put you on the phone with her. Fear has nothing to do with it, you arrogant idiot. There's no reason to be afraid of me, Eric. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? I'm not going to sit here and put up with this. Eric, would you consider being a little nicer to Romper? I'm not considering shit. I'm going to hang the phone up if he curses one more time. Bye for now, big nose bastard. <laughs> Romper. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's pretty good. You guys made the right decision going here, man. I'm telling you, not just for you, but for Artie and Richard Christie. That guy's a freaking genius. That Eric the Midget phone call is freaking hilarious. Which one? The, the, the newest one. The one that you didn't get a chance to listen to. The Baba Billy was saying how it was so freaking good. You should play it. Yeah, let me see if I have that. Yes, yeah, the one where he's like talking to the clown. Yeah, yeah. It's really funny because um, Eric the Midget. Just uh, text messaged Richard Christie on his telephone, mm -hmm. and like the first message is, "You're just a fucking asshole." <laughs> and then Richard writes back, "Why?" And Eric goes, "Cause, hey, hey, Richard, come in and read the text message from Eric the Midget." I mean, Eric the Midget has no idea that that's exactly that's what makes him so freaking funny. Is he freaks out? It's he's clueless. Thank goodness. I know he's awesome. Also, another thing... Oh, wait, here's that. Richard. Wait, he's got to read you. Okay. So what is your text message? He's so proud of this, he's going around showing him. <laughs> okay, the first one is... Let's see here. He texts me. He said, you're a fucking retarded hick asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so then I text him back, why? And he says, for making dumbass bits grow the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, lose your job. <laughs> Where is that uh, uh, thing? Preview page two, I think, and pink. Let's hear it one more time since it's new. All right, Eric the Midget left us a voice. Oh, now. no. I think he wants to speak to us one more time. And I tell you, he's addicted to me. What is, what is it he has to say for this last time? He's saying that a lot of the people who listen to this show are hassling him on his MySpace account and hassling his friends on his MySpace account. And... Um, but 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 I would I would say that isn't that I mean I don't know much about MySpace but isn't that where everybody puts their name up and asks to be contacted? Yes, absolutely. So if people are contacting you, that's what you want. You can't make everybody be nice. <laughs> hey, well, it's me, Eric. I was calling because of the fact that I am getting severely sick of these people that must. And this during the show. I mean, some of them, granted, some of them on, that come to my page are nice to me. 
our presence is civil, but there is a huge majority that aren't. And it's even getting to the point where they're uh, messaging my family and friends that are on my MySpace friends list. Well, your family and friends are putting their names and their email address on your MySpace account. What do you expect to have happen? Thank you for listening. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. You know, I mean, what, what, what? He hasn't figured all that out no. yet. That's just crossing the line. These people have a problem with me. Fine. Mess with me. But don't mess with any relatives or friends of mine. So... If you can, please see if Howard, I know he doesn't want to take any call from me, but he, if he could, the day he comes back, take one last call from me to see if, to see if, you know, myself and also him, since they listened to, his listeners listened to him, would together maybe try to get the listeners off my back. Okay. I know how to get Talk the listeners off his back. Have hey, Willie. Really. Have him fly with yes, balloons. absolutely. That's right. <laughs> so we have a solution. Eric the Midget calls Romper the Clown in purple next to this voicemail. Guys, I, don't you know how I work? I switch over the... Bo Someone explain to the guys. you got to tell me what page. Hmm. Nobody apparently knows how I work in here. It's been a two, two weeks. Yeah. Give him a chance. All right, everyone forgot. Figure it out. Eric the Midget calls Romper the Clown in purple next to this voicemail. Gary, P that's it, boys. Now we got it. Okay. Ah, uh, let's see. Romper the Clown. I can't even find it. It's dizzying. Isn't it in purple? It's not even there. Okay, guys, don't 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 write me any more notes. You're making me fucking nuts. <laughs> uh, here we go. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Can I help? You know what? I, I don't want to hear this. It's one of those funny phone calls where Richard and both Sal have to get on f for no apparent reason. Yeah, they have some relationship. Yeah. He's the wife, and yeah, yeah. And Sal's he, the husband. You could cut out <laughs> the first twenty. 30 seconds of it. They always have to say, let me put someone else on yeah, the phone. Right. <laughs> well, why did you call in the first place? <laughs> All right. <laughs> By the way, I do have an exclusive before John goes on with what's going to be on the wrap-up show. Eric the Midget has contacted us. Voicemail. This is a rare contact. We haven't heard from him in almost two weeks now. And I give you this tape to analyze. Hey, Howard. It's me, Eric. You know, you and your listeners seem to be under the assumption that I need you in order to meet famous people, that I need you to give me the chances. Well, let me tell you something. Last Friday night didn't need you for anything. <laughs> that tickets to go to an, an event at a hard rock here in Sacramento, Hard Rock Cafe, Met Hulk Hogan and his daughter. So up yours. <laughs> Didn't need you to meet them, did I? Who do you meet? And hopefully this Friday won't need you to meet Kelly Clarkson either. Which I've been trying to get you to do for, what, four years now since I've been calling in? And not once have you tried? So, screw you. Hopefully I can do it on my own. Hogan and his daughter. <laughs> what an ingrate that kid is. Yeah. Like, all the great things we've given him, and he's like, fuck you. I don't need you. I don't need you. I meant Hulk Hogan and his daughter. I'm going to call him and tell him not to let him meet Kelly Clark. Yeah, I swear. there you go. Keep him out of things. Look. Hulk Hogan. Pat it. Pat my little midget head. I don't need you. You grumpy munchkin. That's it. That's it.
that's it. For those of you who uh, follow these kinds of things, Eric the Midget, yesterday I played a voicemail from him where Eric said he doesn't need us anymore. He has followed up again. Luck. Uh, and tell, giving us more evidence that he does not need the show anymore. All right. Well, why is. is he calling us with this evidence? He's gloating. As you know, in his last message, he ran into Hulk Hogan and Brooke Hogan. And met them all by himself without our help. Without his, And now he feels he's on his way to meeting other people without our help. I just met Jamie Farr at a diner. <laughs> Don't need you. I you my last message to you, Howard. Not only did I get to meet Hogan and his daughter, but there's a shot that I will be on season three of Hogan Knows Best. So... Guess what? I got on another TV show, possibly, and this time you didn't help me do it. And also, this month I am I shot a meeting Diana DeGarmo without your help, and possibly, hopefully, Kelly or Kelly Clarkson without your help. So again, like I said earlier, screw you. Ah, oh, screw you! Well, you know, we did a lot for that midget. We got him uh, a part on a television show. We gave him lots of prize money. And that's the thanks we get. And introduced him to a lot of the people he's always wanted to meet. And let me say something, Eric, because I know you're listening, you little fidget. I hear a lot of possibilities about Diana DeGarmo, Kelly Clarkson, and, and others. And some maybes. And maybes about being on uh, Hogan Knows Best. But I got news for you. Those are not definites. They're not sure things. That's right. You know, he needs an older brother to beat the shit out of him. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? When you, when you mention Diane DeGuarmo, really? Your older brother goes, let me take you in the corner and beat the living fuck out of you. I don't meet. Oh, <laughs> you suck. I might meet Diana DeGuarmo. Fuck you. Mm. Screw you. Screw the Jews. <laughs> Mel Gibson's right. Uh... Hey, Eric, the midget's on the phone, so I have to interrupt with Johnny Frotto on the line. They want to negotiate uh, Eric's appearance on the show. Johnny is negotiating? Eric? Eric? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Johnny, what do you, how did you hook up with Eric the midget? Well, Eric has a, actually has a friend who's a friend of mine. Oh, no kidding. So Eric and I started to talk, and I started to explain to Eric the benefits of flying with balloons. <laughs> benefit. Eric, so, is that right? You're ready to come around and fly with balloons? Do I hear that properly? Not unless what I said on the news. What did you say? Repeat it for me because I wasn't a I wasn't privy to that. And you will love this. All right. Sal and Richard have to for five minutes each put a realistic and only realistic looking dildo in the flies of their pants and suck each other off for five minutes each. Let me ask you something. It's, I, I think we can make that happen, but... Um, why do you want that? Yeah, like, why would you want to see that? Well, because you guys want the illusion of me flying. I want to... I, you know, the illusion of them... Being gay. You okay. want two men to look like they're having sex with each other as. That's what you want to your see. Fries. You, well, it's not Eric, you uh, agreed then. We're on. Yeah, let's get the flying done. <laughs> it's, it's, if they got a, Howard, what he what he wants to stress is to say that he wants he, he wants the he wants the dildos to be behind their pants. Right, we got it. Coming, coming through, <laughs> got to look like a real dildo. You want the rubber dildo coming out Inside of their fly. The pants, yeah. Yeah, you, you want it coming out of the fly so it looks authentic. Oh. Eric wants it to look real. He doesn't want it to look fake at all when these two guys he, are doing it. He really wants the illusion that those two guys are sucking each other off. There it is. Yeah, wow. But we really are going to fly you, Eric. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I no really, one. I actually think Richard would, would let... If Sal was willing, it never happened. I think Richard would let Sal blow him. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. really do. I'm not even sure. We, Eric, does it have to be rubber, or do you want to just to really blow each other? <laughs> I guess it's the other way. For airtime, the only thing stopping Sal would be his children, I think. I think that's right. the one thing. But uh, otherwise, I think Sal would blow a guy. Well, I just that. find this interesting from Eric's standpoint. Oh, yeah. Instead of Catherine McPhee, he wants two guys to simulate sex. Yeah. Well, you, you know why? 
because you guys don't have a shot in damn hell. No, no. no. Oh, oh, what? That's okay, right. You're balloon. absolutely right. Ah. Let's. Uh, but if we did get Catherine McPhee and and you did fly with balloons like you said, I'd even still have you in to meet Catherine McPhee. But let me let me make sure I can make this happen. I don't think there's a problem. Ask us what we'd rather have anyway, Eric. We'd rather have this than Catherine McPhee. <laughs> hey, by the way, I want Howard TV to air that Eric the Midget cartoon, Eric. Uh, I no. think it's so give it good. To Eric, give it to him. Give him the cartoon. No. No. He doesn't have to give it to us. We can air it anyway. Yeah, we have it. We have it. We made it. Embrace it. <laughs> see, I just think Eric. I just think Eric's being a baby by not letting everyone see it and and saying he doesn't want it on. The Thank you for listening. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. I'm not being a baby. It's stupid. I would never ever let anyone pee on me for any damn reason. Yeah, but it's a cartoon. It's not somebody peeing on you. Give a shit. Oh, you're so silly. You're such a silly boy. <laughs> you're acting like a child. I, I understand now. He's gay. <laughs> yeah, he, wants, gay. he wants to see two guys blow each other. <laughs> see, but this, yeah. is, this is Johnny's influence it's with the... It's a humiliation thing. It's a humiliation thing. Yeah, he's playing hardball. He's okay. like, fuck it, we're going to humiliate two of your guys. Hey, guys, get in here. Richard and Sal. I don't think there's a problem with this at all. These guys do much They're worse. They're already doing it. Yeah. <laughs> problem with this uh sal richard any objection to taking uh two clean rubber dildos and putting them uh in your pants and uh simulating oral sex with each other we don't want to do it it's disgusting but, are you serious yeah so humiliating no. too yeah. humiliating yeah I mean, why wouldn't you but don't you guys put where where you know we've talked to Artie and stuff and we're trying to get past the gay oh, stuff oh, I see. Artie, I see. Yeah. 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 right Artie, hey eric advisor. eric I'm, I'm, me eric i am totally shocked you you they say it's too humiliating well, then I guess I'm not flying, am I? Well, wait a second. I might have to force them. I mean, uh, you ultimately them. have the say, Howard. All but right. This is so I'm going to do something I don't usually do. I'm going to yep. humiliate you two. You have to do it or you're fired. Wow. All wow. right, Eric. There you go, Eric. All right, Eric. We're on. They're doing it. Right, guys? We have to, like, we really, really be, suck the you, dildos? Yeah, you have to suck the dildos. In your uh, serious, we'll be fired. You'll be if fired. You don't, yes. That's right. Oh, that's hardball. Mm. You know, Eric, I, Eric, I have to live with this. My kids are going to see me sucking a dildo. You know, my parents are going to see this. Do you realize how humiliating this is to me? Boy, Eric, what you've done is really dreamt up the ultimate humiliation. You're a smart man. This really sucks. Yeah, yeah, you really this is the worst. No, you know? you're gonna really suck. Yeah, literally, yeah, uh, Eric. You, I guess. Robin, you... Robin, thanks for beating me to a joke. <laughs> Eric, I guess you really win this one, don't you? It's not that harder. So let's get this straight, Howard. We'll be sucking on dildos. Eric will be in the studio. Flying the balloons, balloons will be here. That's All right. in one shot. All in one shot. Mm. All right. Well, at least people will be watching Eric and not us, hopefully. Right. Yeah. Oh, All right. But we'll, have a picture, well, Eric. What? You're a smarter man than I am. I got to tell you, you've yeah, sure. Yeah, we never managed to get them to do this. I never would have imagined they'd be humiliated by this, but they are totally humiliated. But they are being forced to do it. Wow. So when are we getting this done? Let's right, set a date. Yeah. When can we fly you with balloons? I don't know. I wonder what you're going to make me do next. Will you force me to get Daniel Carver to say the N word? <laughs> man, no, I was thinking more along. I was thinking more along the lines of making you. Shave your head. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what. You're going to have to do more than fly. You're going to have to do more than fly. You're going to fly, you're gonna have to fly without balloons. Right. You're going to have to fly to the moon. That's right. You're going to fly to the moon. We're going to fly right out the window for that. All right, Eric, when do you want to set this up? Even though you've come up with the ultimate humiliation, 
Poor Richard and Sal. How did they come I am. I, I'm, I'm, I can't Sal's even trying. Yeah. I won't be able throw, to show I'll my throw face. Something on top, I'll throw something on top. But while I'll, they're doing I'll that. i think about them real pictures. You know, when, when, once they do that bit, the fucking real picture. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There's so real the video. Yeah, them, the video's going to look real. It's going to fucking look like real video. While well, Sal and Richard are blowing each other, I'll eat a pizza. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's good. That, that's wild. <laughs> How about that, Eric? Yeah, he doesn't want to get heavier. He's trying to diet. <laughs> So, Eric, what day uh, do you want to pick for that? It's your schedule, so what do you say? Can you get here at 3 o'clock? <laughs> you know, I don't know how long I can keep these guys, uh, you know, employed. And... Yeah, they probably are going to start looking for other jobs. That's right, so we got to do it quick. Well, I can't do it this month. Month? Month? <laughs> Well, this month you is to fucked up. <laughs> What's he doing? You've driven a very hard bargain, but uh, you've gotten your way. Now you're saying you can't come in here yeah, for a month. Yeah, he's in the playoffs. He can't do it. Yeah, you don't do this. With? Yeah. I'm in Oakland. Hey. <laughs> what are you busy with for the month? Family stuff, remember? Yeah, oh, that's right. Oh. All right you so have a family? How about September 1st? Or no, September, no. whatever the first day in September is when everyone gets back. The day after Labor Day. Yeah. Would be perfect. Day after Labor Day is a good day. Well, no, the the first day of September is on a Friday. All right. Well, I'm sure you would eat yeah, but we're not together. here. Yeah, we're not. All right. So, well, whatever the first day back is, okay. That's what I said. It's the day after Labor Day. Don't right. come up here and fly it's the in fourth. empty studio. Monday is the fourth. <laughs> Monday the fourth. <laughs> That's Labor Day, right? So it'll be Tuesday. Tuesday the fifth. That's right. what we want. Tuesday the fifth. I'm looking at the schedule wide open. Tuesday the 5th, Eric. Oh, can not be a little later? Because there is something that's going to be in New York later that All week right. Well, tell us, give us the day that you will fly with balloons, and these <laughs> two <laughs> fags what's, what's will be going, blowing what's, each other. What's, the, what's, what's, going on in, what's going on in New York later that day or later that week? Well, later that week or next, um, someone <laughs> I met on Sunday night starts... Uh, working. Oh, shut the fuck up and get in here, Jesus Christ! Oh, what a lance bash concert, please, guys. I hear that. What is oh. it, Eric? What is going on? Someone I met, and I met her, her and her mom Sunday night. She starts working again on Broadway in Hairspray. Diana DeGarmo. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> I can't. Her, you know, you met her last night. Sunday. I can't think of a gayer reason. I told you, he's got a little... Uh... Oh, absolutely. He's got an agenda here. Yeah, he's a little sweet. I think, uh, I think I'd rather suck a dildo than go to Hairspray with Diana DeGarmo. I think going to Hairspray with Diana DeGarmo is gayer than blowing a gun. Yeah. yeah, don't make us do that. <laughs> All right, so you give us the date, okay? I'll think of something. Eric, right. Tuesday is fly day. What, do you want us to get your tickets to Hairspray as well? Yeah. We launch oh, on the 5th. I thought in the tickets hairspray. You want Andy Dick to tongue kiss you? No <laughs> way. <laughs> well, uh, Eric, all right. I tell you what, I'll put you on with Gary. Johnny, thank you for negotiating this. Johnny is hey, a I master. Love him. I, 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 this is what I do. Yeah. Why don't we send him to Israel? What's he doing with I, the Eric? You know what? If I wasn't so afraid of guns, I would go to Israel. <laughs> Boy, Johnny, you and the Israelis would get along great. Yeah, why? I look just like those motherfuckers. I mean, I'm, I live in Beverly Hills. I could be Persian every day if right. I wanted to. I know. You know that. You know that shit about going in the airport and they don't like check and see. They check. My son walked that really white motherfucker walks right through the gate. Okay, me, I'm naked in the in the thing. to God. You got to see Johnny's setup in Beverly Hills. Unbelievable. Well, all right. Hey, I got to ask you guys a question. Though. First of all, I want to tell you one thing, Howard, before I get off the phone. You you were on last night with uh, Bubba the Love Sponge. Yeah. And he was talking about taping the girl up with the gun. Yeah. You know that for me, that's just foreplay. You know that, don't you? Yeah, that's I know. I know you're wild. No, no, I'm no, no. But I'm saying to you, my girlfriend, when we were going out would make me, like, you know, have sex with her with a gun. I, I swear to God. Really? <laughs> Honest to God, she wanted me to hold the gun, pull her hair and hold the gun. I can't yeah. even believe that any woman who would make love to the great Johnny Frado would, would, uh, would need that kind that of stimulation. Much more excitement. Usually I need the like gun. It. Like <laughs> it. That's what you like. And then, Robin, I want to ask you a question. Yes. Is your car a 500 or a 55? A 55. Okay, listen to me. Here's your race, okay? You—that's your car. 
Does anybody there know what kind of car Bubba the Love Sponge drives? Uh, I don't know. Uh, probably some girly car. <laughs> well, he can't go get a car. He's, it's got to be one of his cars that he now owns against your SL55. I don't think you realize what how well, I have the same car, Robin. That car, that's a 500-horsepower car. 